So every refrigeration system has four basic components, even this monster chiller behind us. So Rob and I are gonna walk you through the four basic components of a centrifugal chiller. All right, so down here you have the thermal expansion device, which yeah, takes the refrigerant from the bottom of the condenser, lowers the pressure, and now puts it into a state to where the refrigerant could absorb BTUs in the evaporator coil. We just came from our expansion device. So now we're ready to go into the evaporator. And that's this component. And from here, we're gonna make our way up this large pipe through this intake into the compressor itself. And from there, we'll compress the gas and send it on to the condenser. All right, the final and fourth component is the condenser. You can see the discharge gas coming from this behemoth compressor down into the condenser where it's gonna condense the refrigerant by absorbing BTUs into relatively cool liquid that flows through it. And then down to the TFV, those are the four basic components of a centrifugal chiller.